Alex Neil, um, two or three Everton fans after the game told me that the best side lost tonight. Yeah, I thought I thought we played really well. You know, I thought I thought if anybody deserved to win the match over the ninety minutes or over the hundred and twenty minutes, um, I thought it was us. You know, I thought we were unfortunate we went to a penalty shootout, and the fact we went out of the cup, um, having played really well tonight, is disappointing. There weren't many chances for either side. Did you think when Seb Basong had got your side in front, that might be it? Because you were looking pretty tight at the, at the back. Yeah, I think we've been doing a lot of work and we made some slight sort of tweaks to the shape tonight. Um, I thought it worked. I thought the boys did it extremely well. Uh, worked extremely hard and, and deserved to go through it, to be honest. But um, bit really encouraged in terms of the performance and how they applied themselves. Obviously plenty of changes tonight. Yusuf Malumbu made his competitive debut, first opportunity for Norwich fans to see what he's all about and it got about the pitch like you'd expect. Yeah, he's a, he's a wee warrior, you know, he'll get stuck in, um, he'll get him down the pitch, but there's more to come for him. You know, he's, he's sort of match fitness is still sort of lagging, as you can see tonight when he um, was trying to get back towards the end. So, yeah, he's, he's still got more to come, but he'll be a really useful player for us going forward. As far as the, the players that came in tonight, is there anyone who's really sort of stuck their neck out and sort of said that if they're not playing regularly they should be? Um, I thought I thought all the boys that came in uh, showed up well tonight so it makes it difficult going forward. Obviously Saturday's going to be a completely different kettle of fish um, playing against Man City there um, and to be fair they've done a lot of work tonight as well so we've got to make sure we sort of try and balance that out come the weekend but also some of them will be obviously vying for a place come the weekend as well. Your centre-half partnership tonight was obviously the same that played in the Premier League and, and really felt like, you know, after not just another 90 minutes but 120 minutes, that they've really bonded together. Yeah, I thought two of them did great. You know, I thought we were up against a good, sort of big physical presence in Lukaku and I thought both of them dealt with him really well in the game. Um, so yeah, it was, it was pleasing. That, I'll be honest with you, I was really pleased with everything. You know, the one thing all you can ask for your players is they give everything they've got and they go and sort of try their very best and, and apply themselves as well as they can. And I thought every one of them run themselves into the ground and you can't ask for any more than that. Have you always been, a, or have you ever been a fan of penalty shootout to decide who goes through in the cup? Uh, only when you win them. Um, when you don't win them, then not so good. <laughs> what, 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 what was going through your mind as, as those penalty kicks were being taken? You just, you just don't want any of your players to miss it because you, you know the disappointment that we're going to feel afterwards. Um, and like you say, I thought because of how well they performed over the game, um, they deserve to go through. So the fact that a couple of them missed a penalty is disappointing for them. But um, as I said to them afterwards, it happens at times. So what we need to do is dust ourselves down, continue playing the way we are. Um, certainly in that game tonight, we'll be fine. And does it change things for the weekend? The fact that you know some of the players that you would have probably earmarked for just 90 minutes have, have had the extra time in their legs tonight? It's something I've got to sort of have a look at over the next couple of days and how they recover. Um, and I'll get feedback from them as well. So it's a more rounded picture in terms of making sure come Saturday we're as fresh as we can be. How long has this interview got to go on for before you miss your flight? Yeah, I don't know, but it'll be a bit quick. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers, mate. Cheers.